everyone, welcome back to the Yucky Ham Sandwich channel. I'm Yucky. Currently, we are playing Dragon Age 2. We are in the deep roads and we went to this ancient crypt. We don't know who built this or what this is. Barton basically took the relic and just ran out of dodge. He just left us to fend for ourselves. Very good quite surprised that his brother had did this just because family doesn't mean you can trust them <laughs> man we also you know what i realized these lyrium these are real lyrium right why are they so red like they're unnaturally red what is this place this is the vault the vault the dwarves okay. would have brought there oh no Bet is that demon that was really angry at us earlier. Because we won't make a deal with him. That can't be good. Uh oop, oop. Oh jeez. Ow, dang, he is so strong. Now, hold on a second. Ooh. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's right high. Yep. Varric, what are you doing, bro? Hit it! God. These rock rips. Take this. At least he's almost dead. Oh, jeez. At least he's doing that thing again. Let's hide, let's hide, everybody! La -di -da -di. He's doing yep, yep, he's doing that thing. Stay, 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 stay. Hold, hold, hold. Oh, he... Damn it, very. Ah, uh, now, now move freely. Damn it. At least my dog is okay. Okay, let me kill these things first. Is there another one behind me? Yep. Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yep, 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 here we go, here you go. Hide, 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 guys. Varric, what are you doing? Is he doing it? He's dead, right? He's done, he's done. Oh my god. Ready, ready. He's dead, he's dead. Come on. Yeah. So freaking cool. Yeah, you go, Hawk. Show him who's boss. All right. Whew. The rock wraiths are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Oh, well, they're real. Looked pretty real to me. <laughs> yep. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. Let's see wow. If something that can help us get out of here. It's lots of gold, right? Gold treasures. Oh my god! Look at this. Look at this treasure. It's all mine now, right? Can we take some? Oh, we can that level up too. Nice, ten gold. A key. Guess, key. Kind of opens doors, I hope. I hope Let's collect so. Let's the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. Yeah, I'm with you, Varric. All right, three gold. That's not too bad. Let me level them up. All right, I have upgraded them. Let's go. Let's return to the surface. I'd say this is our way back. Hopefully. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. <laughs> and if we God. We're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> <laughs> this part of the deep roads looks familiar. We're back where we started. Five and days. In only five days. Not bad, eh? At least it's not Are a we? week. 
Slow down. Oh no. I, I'm not feeling very well. Ah, uh, because when a mage is encountered with raw lyrium, it can be fatal sometimes. They can die from it. Ah, uh, we can stop a bit. Let's make camp if you're sick. <laughs> I'll wager it was those deep mushrooms we found. Oh no. No. What happened to her? Bethany. Oh no. Why she look like that? It's the blight. I can sense it. I'll end up just like Wesley, won't I? Oh no. Why didn't you say something? That's just like you. Keeping this to yourself. What could you have done? Swoop to my rescue. Yes. I'm not going to last until the surface. <sighs> it's coming on faster. There might be something we can do. I stole the maps from a warden that had come to Kirkwall. I wanted to know if he was looking for me. He wasn't. The maps were for planning their own expedition into the deep roads. Uh, does that help us? Does that mean the Grey Wardens are here? If the Wardens are here, I know where. We could bring Bethany to them. And do what? Become a Grey Warden? I mean, that's an idea, right? Would it work? Is becoming a Grey Warden a cure? Yes, I suppose it is. But it's not without a price. One not everyone is willing to pay. Right, would they agree to this? Is this even possible? How does someone become a Grey Warden? I can't tell you. But it's not something you can undo once it's done. Even if you want to. This just keeps sounding better and better. <laughs> they might agree to it, however. That's if we can find them in time. W we'll have to try. I don't, I don't want my sister options. to die. Then I hope I'm right. Hmm. What's wrong? I think they're nearby. Can he sense them? Or it could be Darkspawn. Oh, God. Ah! Oh, yay, Darkspawn. My dog. Tornado. Okay, cool. They are dead. Oh, wait. Nope, of course. Always from behind. Lovely creatures. Yeah, you're not. Persist. He's like, I shall not be killed. What is? Oh, you. Where'd you go? Oh my God, I have no time to play hide and seek. There. Okay, cool. Are are they Grey Wardens? Anders. Ah. Fancy meeting you here, Stroud. I could say the same. I thought you were through fighting Darkspawn. Here I'm we here are. To fight Darkspawn. I came looking for you. Please help my sister. You mean the girl as a recruit? Of course you do. I'm sorry. I know this comes as no comfort to you, but we do not recruit Grey Wardens out of pity. It is no kindness. Would you rather she die? You think it's kinder to let Bethany die from the blight? Sometimes it is. What? Yes. Stroud, trust me when I say this one is worth your time. With the blight over, you wardens don't have recruits lining up. This is no simple thing, Anders. This may be as much a death sentence as the sickness, and you know it. She'll die anyway. Take her and try. Please. I'm asking you. Come on. Very well, I will try. But if I do this, then we are even. If the girl comes, she comes now. And you may not see her again. Being a Grey Warden is not a cure. It is a calling. Are you sure about this? <sighs> not at all, I don't know. I'm not know. sure about anything. But I want you to live. Yeah, I want you to we live. We must move quickly if we are to make the surface in time. Then, I guess this is it. Take care of mother. At least she won't die or get captured by Templars. Well, take care, sister. Well, I guess I lose a member of my team then. Yeah, let's find home, your brother. Oh, sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartrand came back to the city. 
You think I'd be that lucky? <laughs> I don't care about Bartran. He can revenge isn't exactly the most pressing thing on my mind right now. I know. I'm sorry about what happened to your sister. She'll make it. Bethany's a strong girl. I should have seen Bartran's betrayal coming. I'll find that maggot if it's the last thing I do. I imagine you'll be heading home to uh, tell the family. I guess so. I don't so. have much choice. You'll be a wealthy woman, Hawk. It wasn't all for nothing. Yeah, well, I lost my sister, though. Oh, my baby. You made it home. Yes, I did. Bethany isn't with you? Sadly, no. no. Is she coming back? I don't know. Let's just hope she'll be okay. <laughs> At least she's not taken by the Templars. So the champion's sister was a Grey Warden. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. What connection is Isn't she looking it? for? The involvement of the Grey Wardens makes perfect sense. And the champion's companions, Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that Warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. Motive and it's opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless Maybe you've opportunity? Decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Well, he's the storyteller. He can't just go. Treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. I bet that was a lot of money. The champion moved up in the world, literally, bought a mansion in Hightown. Dang, we finally rich this time. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. The Grey Wardens left Kirkwall. Uh, it was months before we learned Bethany survived. Yes, I'm glad. I'm glad my sister survived. Three years later, the Kunari still have left. Interesting. Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better. Maybe they want something? Maybe they want to take over Kark War again? I don't know. I cannot say that word perfectly. Kark Wall. <laughs> yeah, because Kark Wall and the Kunari has a history together. Maybe they want to take it over again. Who knows? what their uh, motive is. Well, we are back to the Viscount Palace, I guess. I wonder for what business. I wonder if Varric found ba Bartran. The compound was not meant to be permanent. Mm. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Well, that's not good. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage. But these Kunari, they mm. sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Can you tell us? Don't keep us in suspense. Right? Leave us. Hmm. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance is held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. Right. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By Me? Name. For what? What did you do? Uh, I didn't do anything. I get around. Uh, small things, brief, but honest? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. Yeah, that was three years it ago, right? It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirkwall, Sarah Hawk? Sure. Who is against the Canari? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. 
Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued, behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an mm. attack. The Chantry. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Okay. How's your son? Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. Well, I'm glad. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. That's nice. Do you fear war? The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Yeah. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very. And I have no interest in antagonizing them. <laughs> that is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. Nobody wants to. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you although... have doubts. They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three yeah, years. Yeah, it's been three years. They want something else. Definitely. Something is f not right. It's very odd. There's no way they wait three years and there's no ship. Come on now. Well, of course I will help. I'm always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Appease Take the Take his Arishok. demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. I should spend more time with my boy. This life is too short. It is very short, especially for human life. We don't live long. Fifty years, that's how long it took the Imperium to drive out the Canari occupation. But the rest of the Northern Thetis was not so lucky. Both Divine declared as exalted marcher for the only time since the schism of the Chantry. They worked together. A century-long siege result, with the giant Canari entrenched in Antiva and Remain, and all of Thetis throwing arms against them. The war drained the resources of every nation in Thetis, leaving most of the brink of collapse. For the giants, it did not appear to be damaged damage to their armada or the loss of their soldiers, but the terrible toll upon the Ravani population that prompted their retreat when the third exalted march had all but massacred the people of Karnar without even chipping the Kanari occupying force, the giant finally redrew. The treaty that put an official end to the Kanari War signed on the political neutral island of Lomarin off the southern coast of Ravane. 150 years after their assault on the mainland began, the Kanari left our shores. They received the Northern Archipelago in exchange for cessation of hostilities against all the nations on a record. Only Defender refused to sign, and so the war continued to rage the Imperium to their present day. Okay, so the Defender refused to sign, so the war between Canari and the Defender is still continuing. Okay. It is worth nothing, however, the Kingdom of the Ravane immediately violated the treaty. Twice, once when a human of the Northern Ravane, nearly all practitioners of the Kuhn, and therefore, by definition, Kunari, refused to leave their homes and go in exile to their island. And again, when the Ravane Chantry, the nationalist forces, unable to convert its people back to the worship of the Maker, tried a plunge by the sword, slaughtering countless unarmed people and burying them in the mass grave, it's a fortunate mystery that the leaders in the Konar did not allow alert their allies in the Northern Passage, or will still be fighting the giants now. I wonder why they did not alert them. Interesting. Visit Anders. Uh, there's a door here. Oh, hey. Ooh, a chess. I can't do that. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Can I talk to you, sir? Oh my god, stop that. Talk to this man. Well, you have certainly risen through the rank. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me level her up. Okay, I have decided let's do all the companion side quests first before I speak to all the Canari people. Let's go visit Varric first because I am intrigued what Varric has to say and if, uh, Varric found his brother. Seamus, wasn't it? The Viscount's boy? How You're you doing? You're here rather often, Sir Arhawk. A good influence, I think. You started something, helping me as you did. I'm glad. I still accept no blame for defending Kunari. Of course. And I don't miss the kinship of the people who oppose what I believe. 
I don't like or hate the Canari. The Aeroshock asked for me. I think they're a headache, but so are many people. And you've already treated them with more grace than most. Mere existence should not be an offense. Right. No matter how Shouldn't they challenge be. the Chantry. Not when some of their ideas are so compelling. Another time. When there... things are better. The Cune. It is very interesting. Oh, there you are. Hey! I've been looking everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. What? We don't look the same. I had to meet the Vice Count and Dorf are so varied. What is it now? I had to meet the Vice Count. I was called to the Keep on important business, Bowden. Yes. So what's up, Bowden? I was hoping to catch you before you arrived. Uh, there, there's a, a, a gentleman waiting at the mansion. He insists on seeing you. He says his name is Dougal. Your mother thought he'd wise, I tell you, Monsieur. What does he want? I paid Dougal years ago. Yeah. Why would he be back now? He wouldn't tell me, I'm afraid. He refused to come back another day, even after I told him repeatedly that I didn't know when you would return. He doesn't really seem like the most reputable sort, I'm afraid, even for a dwarf. Yeah, well, mother's all right. That's it. Ah, let's be funny. You ran all this way just to tell me I had a visitor. I didn't want to presume what you might find important, Missy. That's uh, that. Before I yeah, go, that's fair. May I simply say how grateful I am that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. Oh, did I do that? I that's so nice. I said I would you for saving Sandal's life, and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. I'm so glad we were able to do that for them. That's the best. You don't need to serve me, it's just... <laughs> I didn't ask you to be my yeah. man, Bowden. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the deep roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your business. And don't forget about your guest. Your mother claims he was I and the silverware. <laughs> Bowden is has a good heart, that is, that is why. Well, we have a new quest at my mansion. I kind of want to visit Varric first. All right. Nothing Vascan. new today. Nothing new today. Wait, is this like where my house is? Is it that close? Wait, hold on. Right here. Wait, no, 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 no. How do I get to my house? Is it my house? Okay. Oh, Hawk Estate. Look at that. It is my house. Mother looks lovely. Wow, look at that. Glory. Oh, look at my dog right next to the fireplace. Wonderful. I don't want to make the dwarf as my servants. I want them to live in my home like a, more like a family or friend, if that makes them more comfortable. Wow, that is luxury, guys. Oh, look at me go. Oh. You've settled in Aphelene. nicely. It's just luck and skill. <laughs> Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? No, Say, never hurts. If someone wanted to pass some work your way... <sighs> Everyone needs something. <laughs> so how can I be of service this time? Someone's trying to be a guard. Poorly. What do you mean? Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected and he won't be quiet. Okay, why not check it out? You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that. Bloody <laughs> hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? Well, are you sure he's wrong? 
Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. True. There's no sense to that. Can't be. Kinda want to ask that, but I don't know what the hammer means. Uh, he had a good start. I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Okay. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Uh, the gallows. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. And we're friends. Yeah, what about that other person? So I can talk to Varric after this. Enchantment! <laughs> Why, hello again. Lovely home you have here. And may I say your mother makes for delightful company? Does she now? We are friendly people. Another visitor. We've moved up in the world, mother. Evidently so. My apologies, Sarah. Your daughter and I simply have a bit of business to conclude. Uh-oh. He won his money back. I'll leave you two alone then. Be careful. Thank you, mother. <laughs> Darling woman. A shame that she spends so much time here alone. Is that a threat? Just what are you saying? Allow me to get right to the point. Right. I know all this came from Deep Road's treasure. Right, yeah. I know you repaid me, but I think I deserve a larger share of your fortune. Fair's fair, right? Uh, a little late for that. No? It's been like three years? Hello? Isn't this a conversation we should have had, say, Thank three you. years ago? Three years! What can I say? Things have gone poorly for me and I'm a bitter man. Give me another oh, boo -hoo. Oh, hundred sovereigns and I'll go away. If you don't... I'll make things unpleasant. Simple enough, no? Unpleasant how? What do you mean by that? Uh, yeah. Well, let's see. I think people would like to know just what happened to Bartrand. Who Wouldn't cares? They? I know he betrayed you, but nobody else does. Your partner disappears, and you end up rich? Nobody cares about Bartrand. There hasn't been a single <laughs> question asked about that. Yet. Questions could be asked. Uh, about you, about your red-headed friend in the city guard, about your sudden riches. Help me out, and my friends in the Carta will make sure the evidence I have never sees the light of day. <sighs> Dang it. You're bluffing. There's no evidence. There couldn't be. Does it have to be real? I think it just has to raise enough questions. How much do you want your new friend, the Viscount, to know about your past? Not much, I'll wager. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Like, I mean, how big of a trouble would I get if I don't pay him? I, but I really don't want the extra trouble because I had to deal with all these other troubles. I need time. I don't have that kind of coin on me right now. Ah, uh, yes. I've heard that line before, I think. Have it your way, Hawk. We'll be seeing each other again. I'm sure. I am so sure I will see you around. Since you already have threatened me. Alright, so we made it to the two hangmen. Let's find Varric first. I would like to talk to Varric. What is this? I can see you were meant for great things. I will read that later. Let's go find Varric. Where is he? I'm sorry, what? Varric! Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. Ah, taking care of my family, politics thing, I'd like to buy a business. I'd like to buy a business. I want title. Um... I like to buy a business. I could go into business for myself. Yeah? You must have pointers on that, don't you, Varric? <laughs> a business is like a puppy. Take your eyes off it, and soon there's shit all over your floor. Dang, Varric. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. I mean, we have it good here now. Why would I go back? I can do some good here. I can never leave you. What would I do without my trusty dwarf? Right? I'd cry myself to sleep without you. <laughs> oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. 
You know I can't stand to see a human cry. Oh. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Oh man, he didn't talk about his brother. No, no, that's kind of the opposite of what I've been saying. I'm the stupid one. Wait, the Tartan oh, yeah. Cockwall, it used to be cute. Dorvan Servant Guild, but otherwise it's perfect. Oh man, he didn't talk about, like, his brother. Okay, now I guess I can talk to uh, Isabella since she's already there. It's like you haven't moved in three years. Uh, she's still there. It's easier for people to find me this way. Do you remember the relic I told you about? Right. The one I need to find? Mm hmm. I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. <sighs> Are you sure? Isn't that what you said last time? <laughs> oh. You mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes. That turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Oh, do it with a kiss? What? Uh, rats. I'll do what I can. You can count on me. Thanks. I appreciate it. If I learn anything new, you'll be the first to hear about it. All right. <sighs> hey, Nora. You in my now let's upstairs. go find Enders. Wait, where did I just go? I thought I was going to Dark Town. What is this? Well, look who's here. Oh man. Dougal. It Come turns on. Out we'll need to do this the hard way. Why? I'll get the money you owe me if I have to tear your mansion apart brick by brick. Oh, I mean, we can talk it out. It's not too late, Dougal. It doesn't we don't have, have to, to, fight, to fight, man. I considered going after your mother, but I prefer the direct approach. Boys, let's make this quick. Oh, I want to be in that on. mansion within the hour. Right. Here, let me do. Yeah, knock them. There you go. Let's kill Dougal. Let me call my dog to help me out. Dang, he is done. Come on. There we go. All right. Who else want to fight? Is that it? Man, he died for no reason, bro. For what? Okay, I thought I was talking to. Uh, I was going to to see Anders because I had to go to his home. Leaf area. Damn. Don't come running to me next time you pick up one of these diseases. Isn't that the point of magic? What's going on? I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. Were they after you? The Templars are hunting you. Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> I want to know about you. It took them long enough. Is this going? Is this? Is this going anywhere? Okay. I want to know about you. We haven't talked much recently. How have you been? Good. I just love what Knight Commander Meredith's done with the place. The curse, <laughs> the midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they okay. won't be made tranquil. Uh, how are you handling it? I bet Justice love it. How are you handling it? Is that making it harder for you? With justice? In the Fade, there is no time. Right. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger is made of my friend. <sighs> well, you, you have to control it, you right? You chose to merge with him. Only you can make it work. Yeah, I can do it. I am trying. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've helped the mages here as best I can. 
But this impasse cannot last. Just being with me puts you at risk. The Knight Commander has declared supporting apostates a hanging offense. Dang. The thought of them hurting you. Everything I've done to control this. I don't care. I would drown us in blood to keep you safe. Oh, that's... that's... that's so romantic, You don't think though. we should start with flowers? Jewelry? <laughs> if that's the man you're looking for, you're in the wrong place. There will be more violence. I know that. If you tie yourself to me, I'll only hurt you. Uh... Oh man, now I'm in deep water with this lovey-dovey thing, dang it. Promises, promises. You keep saying that. You haven't yet. You could have a normal life. You don't want to be with an apostate. Don't yeah, tempt a little me. dangerous kind of fun. <laughs> Not unless you're ready for what <laughs> yes. that means. I mean, we don't have to be with each other. Right? <laughs> the Canary first thundered in the Cark Wall in 756 Storm. During last of the new exalt marches, the collected nation of the Thetis was attempting to drive the Canary from the northern mainland once and for all. Canary armies were on the retreat. But in a desperate gamble, their fleet circled around the Armoranthine's coast and landed a great force in the new marcher city of Oswick. Their plan was to overwhelm the marcher city of Starkhaven and Karkwall. Starkhaven to block the roads leading to the north and Karkwall to block the ship on the waking sea coming from Ole. All the effort to deny supplying to the Thetis armies assaulting Ravain. The attack on Starkhaven eventually fell, but Karkwall was attacked in a daring night raid where the Canari used used their leash Sabaris mages in an unprecedented display of sorcery. The Canari was definitely desperate if they used the, their own mages. The walls were torn down and the city was taken. And for the next four years, Karkwar endured the most brutal occupation in history. Writing from that time are scarce. It was not until after the city was free that the Canari deeds came to light. Children taken from families, forced conversions to Canari religion, and brutal labor camps. It's ironic that the old slaves' quarters of Lowtown, still intact after centuries, provide the perfect means of the Canari to control the city's people. When the famous Olegian Chevalier, Sir Michael, rode into the city after finally defeating Canari defenders, he wrote, Kirkwall is full of people with empty eyes that have had all independent thoughts driven from them. When Lavelle was appointed the city first vice count by the emperor in 760 Storm, he made in his mission to undo the religion condition. Afel bloodline remained popular enough that when the city finally rebelled against Olegian rule in 805 Blasted, Viscount remained the enduring titles of Karkwal's rulers despite its origins. And that, guys, is Karkwal chapter 3. So the Seneschal's tax collector won't be coming around Why again is she like everywhere? You Funny story. I'll pass, but thank you for the help. Spoil sport. Why you want to squat up here in Hightown is beyond me. I like the view. <laughs> so do I. Oh, okay. three years. What was that? There's still no sign of Denarius. I'm beginning to wonder if he's finally given up. Are you sure? This is his mansion, isn't it? He must know you're here. I know. Would you be surprised to learn that it isn't, in fact, his mansion? It belongs to a Tevinta merchant, one who has evidently given up on the place. Perhaps he is dead. Perhaps Denarius killed him. That I'm not surprised. Either way, if Denarius is aware of my presence, he has done nothing. Are uh, you disappointed? Don't tell me you're going to miss all the attention. <laughs> tell me, what do you do when you stop running? Well, you build a life. You take a breath and look around. And start a new. Yeah. I don't know how. My first memory is receiving these markings. Delirium being branded into my flesh. Oof. The agony wiped away everything. Whatever life I had before I became a slave, it's lost. I shouldn't trouble you with this. My problems are not yours. But we're... F but you're my friend. But you're my friend. Your problems are my problems. Yeah, you're my friend. Unlucky you. But enough. You have much to keep you busy, I'm certain. 
Oh, really? We should move on. Uh, okay. Hello, Emmerich. The guard captain says you're still chasing disappearing acts. That's not funny. <laughs> I need your help urgently. You can I've help. spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gaspard Dupuis. Ah. So turn him in! If you know he's guilty, do something about it. Ah, and here we get to the crux of the matter. I cannot lay a finger on Dupuis. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and demanded that they do something. Right. My men raided that house. There was nothing, and I've heard no end because of it. You were reprimanded, I hope. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. She did not. Who else is looking into this? Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard? Well, they rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. I've seen your evidence. Scattered notes, conjecture, nothing remotely usable. You can't expect us to act on your hunches alone. Look what happened when we did. The guards who searched Gascard's place were incompetent. They didn't know what they were looking for. Hmm. Fine, if you insist. Okay, did you show anyone the bones? I retrieved a sack of human remains for you. Didn't you show it to the guard? I did. They said the remains could have been gathered together by scavengers looking for bits of gold and ah, jewelry. Okay. They said there was no way to tell if the remains even belonged to the missing. But they women. can do DNA tests. I'm sorry, Emmerich, <laughs> but that's the truth of it. Tell me about your suspicions. What have you learned about Gascard Dupree? Yeah. He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. Hmm. Maybe you're right. It should be investigated at least. Thank you. I faced nothing but ridicule. To hear someone say that is encouraging. Well, I will help if I can. What do you need me to do? Yeah. I knew I could count on you. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis' estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. Okay, that sounds very simple. <laughs> Let me see what's going on down here before I go investigate. How many people didn't make it out of here? We were lucky. You're looking well. My store is much better stocked thanks to you. Oh, great. If you're interested in hunting down more ingredients, I can make other creations. And of course, I'll pay you for your work. Sure. Sure. Just let me know what you need. Perfect. I have a list of ingredients right here. Oh man, more ingredients! Yay! <laughs> the pure estate. Oh come on! Dog. More of them? Really? Seriously, really in enough of that. Now you fall. Yo, don't hit my dog. Die. There you go. Cool. Now let's go to Dupuis' house now, can we? There you go. Finally. We're in his home. Oh boy. Oh my god, why is there shades here? There you go. 
guards ready. I think the estate met that particular reception. Mm mm. Something is not right. A sack. Can I go over this? No, I cannot. I guess we. Ooh, nice. 15. Thank you, note. Guess, guess car, thank you kindly for the last shipment. It arrived in almost perfect condition. The request payment is on its way. Please use the artifact. Please use the artifact with care. The creatures can be difficult to control, even an experienced mage. A pleasure doing with business with you, your friend. What creatures are they talking what about? What creature? Yeah, what creatures Shades. are they talking about? Something demonic, of course. Okay, go that way. Go this way, I guess. Shades! They're everywhere! Yeah. Really knock them, really. Okay, cool. That was fairly easy. Man, his house is huge! Alright, let's read this. Have I mentioned that I don't really like it here? Eesh. Monsieur... Dupuis, this is in regards to your inquiry into missing mages. I would like to remind you that the duty of seeking out missing mages, if there were any to begin with, would fall to the Templars of Starkhaven, not a minor noble from Corkwall. I would also like to take this opportunity to remind you that the Circle of Mages, as a whole, does not welcome casual inquiries about the mages in its care. Thank you, First Enchanter Raderick. Why would Gascard be inquiring about escaped mages from Starkhaven? Don't know. I think it's time for us to find out, yeah? <laughs> uh, sir. Can I go anywhere else? Door. That is a lot of doors. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, hey. A vital of blood? I think these have been used in blood magic. Oh no, that's not good. Nice, 32. So there's blood magic involved. We are very close. Hey, it's the statue from my home! Uh, there's another letter that we must read. Meredith's apology. Mazara Dupree. Please accept my humble apologies for recent events. The Templars, Merrick, and has been reprimanded for his wrongful accusations and for arousing suspicions within the city guards that led to the raid on your estate. I will see that he is restrained in the future. Sincere yours, Knight Commander Meredith. That's polite for Meredith. Someone <laughs> must have written it for her. <laughs> so she is not a polite person, I guess. Help me! Please! He's gone mad! Who's you're he? Not, you're not him. Who's him? Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. Uh... Re then release her? Let her go, and we can talk. Yeah. If I let her go, you'll kill me. Why? I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. I will not kill you. Just... Just let me explain. Uh... Talk quickly. Well, calm down. It's you fine. You don't have to be afraid. I'll hear what you have to We're say. We're not the killing type. Several years ago, my <gasps> sister was murdered. Right. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. Oh. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. Huh. He's lying. He hurt me. I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. Okay, there's no reason for him to lie. Let go of me. <sighs> She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. Uh, you're a blood mage. I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. Okay, yeah. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. You're afraid of the guards. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Yes, can't you? Why? I don't want him arrested. 
Huh? This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Ah, uh, it's about Selfish revenge. little shit. How many of you risked by keeping this to yourself? Emmerich suspects you. Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Yeah. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. Oh, I mean, you can't blame him. You really did make yourself a target, though. Kidnapping people and all. I suppose that's fair. <laughs> well, tell me about the killer. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. Hmm. Okay. Odd. You can go. Time for you to vanish. Every man for himself. I'm headed to Darktown. If you learn anything new about the killer, find me there. I have a score to settle with him. Aren't you Hawk? Yeah. Where's Emmerich Merrick? Not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. Uh, are you sure? Perhaps you're mistaken. I am not mistaken. You sent him a message a half hour ago. Look. Oh no! I didn't. I send didn't this. Yeah, I didn't send that. You didn't. Strange. He's in danger. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. No, 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 no. It is not a misunderstanding. Something is not right. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? I've been loyal to the order. I don't care if you are loyal to the order. Uh, okay, let's find Merrick. He is in danger, I believe. Is that him? Oh no! There's so many of them. Oh, a desire demon! Oh my goodness. Uh, finally, I can use my tornado. That took forever. Alright. How many are there? That's you heard me. Okay, where's my mages? They must be protected. Okay. I don't need to. Some mage sent that thing here to kill him. Why would anyone? I... Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was he getting was. too close. He suspected a man named Gaspard Dupuis. Did he do this? <sighs> yes, he fooled me. Yeah, yes, he fooled me. Gaspard played me. And now he's escaped to Darktown. Darktown's a big place, but we'll find him. He's an apostate, and Meredith will want him hunted down. I will speak to the city guard about this. Gaspard Dupuis will not escape. My men will cooperate however they can. Tell them I command it. Thank you, Captain. So I killed Merrick? Uh, he didn't have to die. I think that was my fault. I think uh, if I didn't let that guy go, Merrick would have lived. Was it my fault? I think it is. It's definitely my fault. I have no idea. I've been playing like almost an hour, almost two. This game is so much fun. I can't seem to stop, but I have to stop now. <laughs> or else this video will be super duper long. With that said, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. And um, yeah, until next time, guys. Bye.